Warning, this video contains themes of violence, gang activity, and even death. This video was made for educational purposes and in no way glorifies gang activity. These are all historical events and I'm just choosing to shed light on these situations. Today we're focused on an artistic from Florence, SC, J. Slim. Joshua Brobzia, or more known as J. Slim, is a native from the east side of Florence, South Carolina. Growing up in poverty Slim had no choice but to deal drugs and deal with the street life as a means to take care of himself and the people he loved. His trap of choice was in the 401 in East Florence. Florence is a city in the county seat of Florence County, South Carolina. It lies at the intersection of Interstates 20 and 95. It is the primary city within the Florence metropolitan area. Although it's said that living in Florence offers residents a sparse suburban feel and that in Florence there are a lot of parks. Many families and young professionals live in Florence and residents tend to lean liberal. Florence, SC is reported to have one of the highest murder rates in the United States. East Florence is known as the most ruthless, drug-dealing side of Florence. The tone on their side of the city was set by one small group of cousins, and they went by the name Cap. Led by Flex also known as Boozy. He was followed by Low, BG, Cap Savage, Capo, Finesse, and Richie Rich. Flex, their leader, is currently locked in federal prison on a 10-year sentence. The Cap gang were known for their street beef with the south side of Florence. While growing up, Slim took upon the hobby of rapping just for his love of music. He had no idea that he would turn out to be to be as big as he turned out to be. Racking up hundreds of thousands of views. Locally doing it, while juggling being in and out of jail and the street life, Jay Slim would find himself behind bars facing narcotics charges. While incarcerated Jay Slim would run into a guy that would change his life, we would get to know this man KG. KG would go on to teach Jay Slim all the ins and outs of surviving while incarcerated. Since KG held Slim down while they were in jail, Slim made sure he held KG down while they were both free and enjoying the fruits of living a fee life. Over time KG would introduce him to a local Florence clique who went by the name Low Gang or Loyalty Over Everything. Slim soon started claiming the gang out of East Florence under the name Low. Low was created by individuals who also made the East Florence Street Gang KAP or Keep Applying Pressure. Under this newfound group he was claiming, Slim names stared to buzz within the local rank scene with songs like Mama and Check On Me. On his bus he soon ran into some problems while living with KG and his GF while staying in North Florence. One late night, after hustling all day, he was outside taking out his trash when suddenly three men approached Jay Slim. The men pulled out guns and proceeded to rob Jay Slim with his girlfriend in his presence. Slim allegedly shot one of the robbers but the other robbers still managed to escape with some drugs and money from that he had in his possession at the time. It was allegedly said that it was actually some guys a block or two over who were related to the Smoot family. Little did he know that wasn't going to be the only trouble lurking in the shadows waiting for him. A month or two later, Slim would make a move to the west side of Florence. After his move he noticed a dramatic increase of buzz with his music around the city and an increase of traffic from the streets which would ultimately start more problems for him down the road. While on his road to riches he soon fell out with the same group of guys we mentioned before, the low gang and without his gang in the streets. That made him an easier target for people in Florence being that he didn't have that much support with his home team. It was only him and KG. Slim soon became more flashy and loose with his money as he wanted to flex and show his dominance financially over his old friends. He could even be seen purchasing riced out BVs, an 8 on 8 pair of grills costing an estimated 10 to 15 grand. Little did his know his new flashy life and his falling out with his old friends would cost him his life. The vultures soon started to circle in on Slim because of his flashy ways and flaunting of drugs and money. He knew something was wrong as numerous people speaking in remembrance for Slim can be seen saying he knew something was off and he wasn't feeling right. While making his routine drugs transactions he soon ran into his last customer ever. He was making a regular drug deal when it turned into a deal gone wrong. 
they shot him after he didn't give up his drugs and money they were trying to rob him for. They ransacked the house and didn't leave anything behind except Slim's lifeless body. When the police arrived they pronounced him dead on the scene he died January 2, 2022. The streets of Florence were crushed by the loss of their rising star, Jay Slim. The entire city was clueless to what happened to Jay Slim except for one man. His best friend KG. KG would be arrested days after the murder on unrelated charges and he would ultimately wiggle his way out of handcuffs by telling everything he knew about the murder. He would go on to tell detectives that he was there just minutes before the murder of his friend and he saw two men there hassling his friend about his prices of drugs. He said he left and went to a Dollar General then when he came back he would find his friend's lifeless body. He told detectives the two men were Sapp, or Richardson, and Baby C, or Williams is seen in paperwork. Detectives would catch up with Williams first who was still a minor at the time, and he would have a lot to tell them. He would proceed to tell detectives that Richardson, or Sapp told him that he was indeed the one who shot Jay Slim five times before robbing him, even describing the way he shot him. He would tell detectives that he was nowhere near the shooting at the time that it took place and he was unaware anything happened until Sapp told him the truth. Detectives would arrest Richardson and charge him for murder. Williams would be transported to DJJ but he would eventually be released. KG and Williams are both free men to this day while Richardson still awaits trial for murder. If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll be sure to make more videos. Leave us a comment if you have any video requests you'd like to see.